Yeah. So I'm here with Dan from Akai. So Da Vinci. Yeah. <laughs> so was wondering if you could show us some some previews of the 1.8 software. Okay, cool. Yeah, the 1.8 is uh, some new things we've added is what now in sample record mode. What you have now is, is the first thing you have is a new looper function. Looper's real cool because what you can do with that is um, if you're a uh, you know, bass player, guitar player, whatever, you can sit down, you can lay down a, lay down a guitar line, layer over it, play, every, play over it, it all goes to the same sample, it all goes onto the same sample. You can put that on a pad, build up with it, just keep running the looper, build it up, build it up. A lot of fun, really, like, really fun to play with. Um, you know, if you're like a vocalist or something like that, you can layer your own harmonies onto the same sample. It's really cool. Right. Um, we've, uh, in the record, in the sample edit section now, you can play, of course, 1.72, we added the ability to play one shots. What you can do now is, zooming is much more convenient. Like if you want to zoom into the start point, what it does is if you see how, how it's moving there, as you zoom in, it goes interactively. So now, what you can do is you can get real fine in on the, in on the details just by using the knob, which is awesome. Right. Uh, also now, what yeah. you can do is yeah. we're gonna have non-destructive chopping, which means if you just let me load up a uh, load up a, a loop real quick. Now that you go to sample edit, get that, whoops, get that over here. So I should just use the mouse, it's quicker. So now my loop is going to be way at the top because it's labeled one. So we got my break right here. Okay. So now what you can do is, this is fun, go to chop, right? Play it. Slice button, and you can add the slices as it's playing. Right. It's awesome. Then you don't have to do anything else to it. You go back to program edit. Now inside program edit, we've blown it all out. You go over to here, sample edit, and we'll say slice. Now you can specify what slice you want to use for the for the um, for the sample. Let me just assign it to the pad real quick. <laughs> I forgot what I called it. Slice one, slice two, but I can't put a whole video. Okay. Now remember I just chopped it. Remember I just chopped that up and fixed before. Now what I can do too is I can go to offset and now I can change the start and end point of the slices. Right. You can change it to like, you know, whatever you want. You can type it in. I get the nice snap in the beginning. Right. And then also on that same page, you can also reverse this, reverse it. All right. So it's real cool. We got now basically, basically all you need to do is just set your slice points and just jump into your program mode. You don't have to export it, run it out, or anything like that. Now with the uh, the manual chopping, there is there some sort of scrub feature or something? There is actually. If you go, you got to enable it first. Go to references, make sure it's enabled. Go into other, and then see down here we got cube preview and slice preview. What you can do now is, when you go into sample edit, now what you can do is you can actually listen to it beforehand. Play Q. just by scrubbing, which is pretty fun. Um, you can have it set to go before or after, so that, that's really good too. Nice and convenient. Very cool. Wait, there's more though. Okay, there's more. <laughs> yeah, now let me go to a, uh, let me go to a fresh track. Now we got this hybrid, per of course you got hybrid here. We got a sound that we're playing with hybrid, right? Right. So now normally when you're on bank A, you're playing, it's like, okay, it's really low. So now, what you, not really much you can do with it. What you can do now is if you go to pad assign while on a MIDI track, a plugin track, or in a T-group track, what you can do is 
you can play in scale. Octave it up. And you can play chords, so now it can play individual notes. Sounds like what, Final Countdown or something? Right. <laughs> and then you can do one, three, five. One, three, five, seven. And when you're playing one, when you're playing the chords, the old shift goes to the minor. So you. Now you can set your you can set your keys. So if you want to say like, oh, I want a major, minor, harmonic minor, pentatonic major. Cool. Yeah. Or the, will the, there be uh, different inversions of those chords available? Yeah. What we're gonna do is whenever you hit shift, you can see right here. Like I'm on the one three five right now. When, you hit, when I do shift, now you've got the one four five, one three five seven, and also we've got this is fun too. If you go here for type, we have. Uh, we also do chromatic chords and progression, so this just does a, a nice, uh... So, I'm writing techno right now. <laughs> we got a bunch of different chord, we got a bunch of different chord progressions. Uh, actually, there's two in there now. Uh, hopefully there'll be more by the time we release. And by the time we release is when? Well, uh, we're shooting for early February, so sure, probably in the next, in the first two weeks of February, we should be releasing. Very cool. Yeah, and there's so, other stuff, I'm sure. Yeah. So uh, it, uh, it, you've seen all this. You're one of our beta testers. So I you've am. seen all this. Yeah, you, you're in the family. So I'm playing, yeah. I'm playing dumb right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, good, good. That's good. Yeah. Cool. Um, Very exciting stuff. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Yeah. So uh, once again, thanks for sticking with us, guys. Uh, we really appreciate it. And uh, you know. Um, keep giving the feedback because you know that's that's the most important thing. We we, we like to know we're on the right track or you know what, how we can add your workflow and make it better. Fantastic. Thanks, Dan. No problem. Thank you. Good seeing you. Yeah, definitely. Peace. <laughs>